Hello YouTube, welcome to another Season 6 Patch 5.24 guide. Today we are bringing you Kha'Zix Jungle. This is another requested guide I have in the list I'm keeping track of. Now Kha'Zix is no longer the incredibly annoying mid-champion that would get a few items and then run around the map one-shotting people. However, he is still a decent champion. You don't really find him in mid lane or top lane anymore, but he is a pretty solid jungler. He does have a gap closer from his leap as well as a slow from his W and his passive, so he can do some pretty solid ganks. With all that said, he is certainly not a top tier champion, however he can still carry games and he is still incredibly fun. He's still one of those champions where if you learn to play him well, he can still carry you high into elo. With all that said, let's jump right into Kha'Zix's pros and cons, starting with his pros. The first being he has good jungle clear, speed, and sustain. A lot of junglers out there get rather low when they're clearing the jungle, however Kha'Zix does not at all, he stays rather high, and on top of it, he's a pretty decent dueler since he does get plus damage against isolated targets. Because of all this, he's not incredibly susceptible to counter jungling. Of course, there are some junglers out there that can of course counter jungle Kha'Zix, but the average jungler won't have the easiest time doing it. Another pro Kha'Zix has is that he has a reliable slow with his passive. The way his passive works, when he is unseen, his next attack slows the enemy. So obviously when you're roaming around lanes, you will become unseen, and then when you attack the enemy, you will slow them and the gank will be much more effective. Kha'Zix's third pro is that he has high burst on isolated targets. With the way his Q works, he gains an extra 30% damage on a target which does not have enemies near it as well. This means when you gank top or mid lane, usually you're against just one target, so the kill is much easier to get as you are doing much more damage. Kha'Zix also gets resets with his evolved leap. If he jumps into the fight and ends up getting a kill, his leap comes off cooldown and then he can jump to the next target and do it again. People out there who have played against the old Kha'Zix are very familiar with this and know how frustrating it can be to deal with if he's jumping all over the map deleting targets. Kha'Zix also has a lot of juke potential with his evolved ultimate. The way his evolved ult works is he gets three two second periods of stealth with his ult so he is very hard to track and can obviously do a lot of juking with his ability and get away from fights. With all of these pros there of course are a lot of cons as well considering he's not a top tier champion. The first being that he's lacking CC. The only thing he really has is slows. He cannot actually stun champions or anything, so when he's ganking, he is somewhat reliant on the champion he's ganking with having some sort of CC as well to chain with his slow. If you get caught without your leap and ult, you're pretty much dead. Kha'Zix is as squishy as a AD carry pretty much, and considering he has to be in the middle of fights, that's not the greatest thing. Next, we're going to look at Kha'Zix's masteries, which are 12 ferocity and 18 cunning. First, we go into Ferocity, getting 2% increased ability damage, followed by Double Edged Sword, which is deal 3% additional damage and take 1.5% more. Then we get Natural Talent, which is plus 10 attack damage and plus 15 ability power at level 18. And finally, Bounty Hunter, which is deal 1% more damage for each unique enemy champion killed. We then move into Cunning, grabbing Savagery, which is attacks and spells deal 5 bonus damage to minions, followed by Assassin, which is the new ability, which is 1.5% increased damage when no allied champions are nearby. We follow this up with Merciless, which is deal 5% more damage to champions below 40% HP. We then get Dangerous Game, which is champion kills and assists restore 5% HP and mana. Then we get Precision, which is gain 5 plus 0.5 per level armor pen and 3 plus 0.3 per level magic pen. And finally, we get Thunderlord's Decree, which is third attack or spell on an enemy champion calls down a lightning strike, dealing damage. Now we jump into Kha'Zix's runes, which are very basic. You take nine greater marks of attack damage, followed by nine greater glyphs of scaling magic resist. Then you get nine greater seals of armor, and finally, nine greater quintessences of attack damage. Kha'Zix is pretty much a champion which needs to go around ganking and getting early kills in order to snowball, so the reason we take these runes is because you get as much attack damage as possible to make that happen. All the attack damage you get from these runes as well makes sure that you can clear the jungle faster as well, which is an added bonus. Now jumping into his summoners, we get Flash and Smite. Flash is used for chasing, escaping, and repositioning. Kha'Zix is also extremely squishy, and Flash may save your life many times during the game. Now of course on a jungler, the second one is Smite. Smite is a must-have on jungler as it makes your jungle clears faster, and it is good to finish off Baron and Dragon. Now although you already have a built-in slow from your passive, you do also gain Chilling Smite when you acquire your Stalker's Blade, which also increases your kill potential. So with all that said, these are pretty much the only summoners you're going to want to take on Jungle Kha'Zix. Now with all those things covered, we're going to jump right into Kha'Zix's abilities, starting with his passive, which is called Unseen Threat. 
So Kha'Zix gains Unseen Threat when the enemy team loses sight of him, causing his next basic attack against an enemy champion to deal between 15 and 190, which is based on level, plus 50% AP, bonus magic damage, and slow them by 25% for 2 seconds. Now this is a great passive, especially on a jungler, because it is a reliable slow that you will always get off on a champion when you go to gank them, and it does added damage as well. Now we're going to look at Kha'Zix's main ability, which is called Taste Their Fear, and is his Q. So the passive part, Kha'Zix marks all visible enemies who aren't accompanied by any of their allies nearby as isolated. The active, Kha'Zix slashes the target enemy, dealing physical damage, increased by 30% against isolated targets. And the physical damage is between 70 and 170, plus 120% bonus AD. When you evolve this ability, which is the first one you do evolve, Kha'Zix gains 50 bonus range on his basic attacks and Taste Their Fear, which also deals 10 to 180 based on level, plus 104% bonus AD bonus physical damage to isolated targets. Now, as you can see from the AD ratios and the 30% more damage you get against isolated targets, this is an incredible skill for deleting single targets. And this is what really makes Kha'Zix a good assassin. The cost for this ability is also 20 mana and the cooldown is only 3.5 seconds. So it is very spammable and the cost is not that high as well, so you will usually always have the mana for it. Next we look at his W, which is called Void Spike. Kha'Zix fires a cluster of spikes in a line that detonates upon hitting an enemy, slowing all enemies in an area for 20% for 2 seconds and dealing them physical damage, increased by 20% against monsters. The physical damage for this skill is between 80 and 200, plus 100% bonus AD. Kha'Zix also heals himself if he is within the detonation radius. The heal is between 60 and 160, plus 50% AP. Now this is a great ability as it is an added slow into your kit, as well as great for the jungle as you get a heal from it and you remain in the jungle at fairly high HP because of it. So for his evolved spike racks, Void Spike fires 3 clusters in a cone, slows by 50% and grants sight of enemy champions hit for 2 seconds. Multiple explosions do not deal extra damage to the same target or provide Kha'Zix with additional healing. This used to be a great evolve, however it is now the worst of Kha'Zix's evolves, so you do not take it anymore. The range is 1000, the cost is between 55 and 75 mana based on the rank, and the cooldown is 10 seconds. Next is Kha'Zix's E, which is simply called Leap. Kha'Zix leaps to the target location, dealing physical damage to nearby enemies upon landing. The physical damage is between 65 and 205, plus just 20% bonus AD. In the evolved version of this skill, Leap gains range and its cooldown is reset on enemy champion takedown. So obviously this is a very good evolve to take as it allows you, as long as you're getting kills, to jump around the fight and keep deleting targets. The range goes from 600 to 900 depending on if it's evolved or not. The cost is 50 mana, and the cooldown goes from 20 to 12 based on the rank. This evolve isn't quite as strong as your Q, so it is the second one you take. Finally, we land at Kha'Zix's ultimate, which is called Void Assault. The passive, each rank in Void Assault, allows Kha'Zix to evolve one of his abilities, granting it additional effects. And of course, since you can get three ranks of this ultimate, you get to upgrade three of your four abilities. In almost all cases, you will first upgrade your Q, then your Leap, and then your Void Assault. So for the active of this ability, Kha'Zix enters stealth for one second, acquiring Unseen Threat, gaining 40% movement speed, and ghosting while stealth, which means he does not have unit collision. After 2 seconds of leaving stealth, and for the next 15 seconds, Void Assault can be cast a second time at no additional cost. And for the evolved version, Void Assault can be cast a total of 3 times and each instant grants 2 seconds of stealth. The cost is 100 mana, and the cooldown goes from 100 to 90 to 80 based on the rank of the ultimate. And because Kha'Zix is so squishy, this is a very important ultimate to learn how to use, as you need to use it to move around fights and not get insta-gibbed. With all of his abilities covered, we're now going to talk about his ability leveling order. You take Void Assault, which is your ultimate, whenever you can, meaning level 6, 11, and 16. You follow this up with Taste Their Fear, which is your Q. You take this at level 1, and it is your main leveling priority. So you take it at 1, 4, 5, 7, and 9. You then follow this up with Void Spike, which is your W. You take this at level 2, and it is second in leveling priority. So you take it at 2, 8, 10, 12, and 13. And last is your Leap. You take this at level 3, and it is your last in leveling priority. So you take it at 3, 14, 15, 17, and 18. Next, we're going to cover Kha'Zix's item build, which starts with a Hunter's Talisman and some health pots. We then rush into a Stalker's Blade with Warrior Enchantment, which gives some attack damage, cooldown reduction, as well as Chilling Smite. We then go into Boots of Mobility, since it is pretty important for Kha'Zix to snowball off enemy champions. 
We then move into a Yasuo's Ghost Blade, Ravenous Hydra, LDR for some armor penetration, and a Guardian Angel for some armor, magic resist, and the chance to come back. One alternative to this would be picking up Black Cleaver over the Ghost Blade. If you don't really like using activate items, the Black Cleaver would be more beneficial in that case. If your Guardian Angel was on cooldown or you just wanted to have more damage in your build, you could get a Death Stance. And if you were against something where you needed cleanse, a Mercurial Shimitar would be a great choice as well. That's pretty much it for this Kha'Zix guide. You just need to keep in mind when you're playing this champion that he is rather skill-based, at least with your ultimate. You really have to know how to use it properly in order to fight effectively. Kha'Zix is no longer the god tier mid champion that can roam around killing targets very very easily. It takes a lot of skill now to use Kha'Zix properly. Although he is not at the top of the tier list, he can still gank very effectively since he has a gap closer and multiple slows, so he can snowball himself or champions on your team as well for the win. With all this said, he is still an incredibly fun champion. I still play a Kha'Zix from time to time, he can still carry games rather easily if you're good with him, and I enjoy every single game I play with him. On that note, thank you guys for watching this guide. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you guys enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. If you guys also have any champions you would like to see guides on, please also leave that in the comments, and I'll be sure to make those at some point soon. Thanks again for watching, and good luck using Kha'Zix.